Hi everybody, this is Gail Vihar from MomandCamera.com and I'm here to show you today one way that I color correct um, skin in Lightroom. Today I have a little photo of my nephew that we took and the day we took it he was having some issues with allergies and so his eyes and even around his eyes, his cheeks just a little bit are quite red and I want to fix that and up until just a few weeks ago I really didn't have a consistent way to do this maybe a few months I've been doing this for the last few months but recently I just had this aha moment like maybe I could do this with the brush tool I tried using the um, HSL panel down here and sometimes I would click on saturation and then using the targeted adjustment brush I would just drag down where maybe I thought there was a little bit too much red. The problem is is that I felt like it really desaturated the skin more than I wanted it to. Occasionally I would use the luminance here and I would click on the same targeted adjustment brush and then increase the luminance. Luminance is basically the lightness or darkness of a color in your photo so I would increase it to kind of lighten that color. Um, the problem is is that before long it starts to brighten the whole face and I didn't really want that side effect either. So I found that the brush tool helps me do this pretty well. I'm going to show you how I do that. I usually set my brightness. I select the brush tool and then I set my brightness to be about a plus five not generally any more than that and then I'm going to come down here and the only other thing I'm going to change is this color and I'm going to select a green color a really light green color and then exit out of that. The reason that I choose green is that if you look down here in your temperature and tint panel and the basic um, the basic panel you're going to see that green and red counteract each other um, as far as color goes and blue and yellow do the same so I have red in his cheeks I'm gonna choose a really light green to counteract that I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna brush right along his cheeks here just where I think there's just a teeny bit too much red then I'm gonna zoom in to 100 percent so I can see his eyes and then I'm gonna try to get rid of the, the red that's in the whites of his eyes and just along the edge of the edge of the eye there these changes are going to be extremely subtle so they might be a little bit hard to see but try them out for yourself because I really think they'll help you as you're trying to color correct skin. I'm going to come over to his other eye and do the same. While we're here you can just wave hello to me in his eye because you can see me there as I'm taking a photo of him. <laughs> We've got a nice reflection of myself in his eye. Okay so I've done that. I'm just going to zoom out and that's really all I'm gonna do here. I wanna show you the kind of the before and after. So I'm gonna go before the brush strokes that I did so that you can see what it looked like before. And then click on the last thing I've got here in the history panel. And you can see, I'll do that a couple of times here. You can see that's extremely subtle, but it really did help that red in his skin a little bit. Um, these aren't major changes and I will tell you that I never usually go, I go between like 5% and 12. I rarely go higher or uh, than that. So it's going to be really subtle. You're not going to need very much or you're going to start to get alien colored skin. But it's an extremely helpful way to correct a color cast in skin as you're editing your photos. So try it out. Tell me what you think. Be Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and if you have any other ways that you color correct skin or I would be thrilled to know those because this is something that's really kind of troubled me with Lightroom and this is the best way that I found to do it. So anyway, thanks for listening today. I really appreciate you hearing me out in this video and I look forward to sharing with you again soon. Thanks.